Hello everyone, welcome to the AI practical series. In this particular session, we will study about uh, designing an expert system using AI ML. So, what is AI ML? So, AI ML is actually artificial intelligence markup language. It is used to create uh, chatbots and conversational agents. Now, this uh, is a simple pattern and responses of AI ML rules. So, AI ML actually consists of rules which has patterns and responses. So, here a simple code is given. So here as we can see we have the category and then we have the patterns. So this pattern we have written hello in between this. So it defines the pattern that the chatbot will look for in the user input. So in this case it's looking for the word. So if the user so it is it is actually when we write this pattern hello. So the particular chatbot is looking for this word hello. So in case if the user types this hello then this template will be prompted back to the user hi there how can I help you today so this will be prompted by the chatbot so this is how this particular uh, AI ML works we'll be using this to create the expert system in case of expert system here we will study the expert system which can diagonalize the flu so uh, this is the Python code this is the Python code as we can see I'll explain this code afterwards so this is we will import AI ML so when we are using the uh, Python uh, this uh, we need to export we need to import this library AI ML I will show this how we can import if uh, I'll be use I'll be doing this particular I will running this code in um, Colab in case if you are you doing in Python ID then you must know uh, how to import this particular library so these are the things we will be using so uh, this is the Python code the required Python code. I will explain this code afterwards and this is the AI ML. So in this case, we need to create two files. One is this program of Python. This is the Python uh, code. And this part is the AI ML file. So here we need to actually define the rules. So here we have different rules. So first of all, uh, welcome. This, this is the welcome message. When you just run this, we will get a welcome message here. If we type welcome, that will it will welcome us. Welcome to the flu diagnostic center. Please enter your symptoms. So. Uh, these are the symptoms if we only enter fever it will it will prompt us there is no flu if we enter cough only only cough it, there is no flu but in case if we enter fever and cough both then it will it will tell us you may have the flu so this is how it will work this is the knowledge base in this AIML this is the knowledge base and this is our code now first of all let us run this code and then I will explain the code I will be using Google Colab to run this code so we have to actually import the library. I will show how to import the library. So I open the Google Colab. I just click on code. First of all, we need to import the library. So the very first thing is we we'll import the library. So pip, sorry, pip install Python, then AIML. So we need to install this. So in case we are using Python ID, we must install this library first. So now it is done. Now we'll just uh, copy the code here. Okay. Now before running the code, we need to create the data of the knowledge base. So I'll just uh, click on Notepad. So this is op I will open up a Notepad, and I will just paste that particular knowledge base. So this is, this is our knowledge base. So it starts with this, okay, and this is the thing which we have to make up in the type in the knowledge base. This is our knowledge base. I will share this code in the description section of the video. So now next we have to save. So I will just file and then save as. So I'll save this uh, on my desktop as a flu dot a i m l and this is uh you can see all files as all files so i'll just save it on the desktop okay. now i can come back to the colab okay, and type the code now we come back to google colab so i'll just click on code and i already copied the code i'll just paste the code here so this is our required code okay. this is the code you can copy the code i will just also share this code in the in the section so 
the next step what we have to do is we have to upload this file flu.eiml so because i am i am doing this in google collab i'll i will actually upload the full the file from here itself i'll just upload this file so as you can see on my desktop i have this file aiml this flu.aiml i'll just open it up okay so you can see this file is here in case if we are going doing this on python.id we must store the file in our system and we can give the path here so we have to give the path in this case so now all the things are done okay now let us run the code now i'll just close this okay and then i'll just run it now it is asking us for the welcome to the flu diagnosis center you so now uh, we can type fever it says no flu now suppose if i type a uh, cough so it's asking is is giving us no flu now in case if i type fever and then comma cough so so it is us is telling us you may have flu this is how the system works so if a person is having only cough or only fever then it will say no flu but in case if the person enters fever and cough it will say it will actually you may have a flu now to exit we'll just exit this code so it is goodbye so this is how this particular system works now i'll explain the code this line imports the aiml artificial intelligence markup language library which is used to create and manage chatbots or expert systems that can understand and respond to natural language input this line defines the main function which is the entry point of the program this line creates an instance of the aiml kernel which will be used to load the aiml knowledge base and interact with the user this line loads the aiml knowledge base In case if this file is stored in some location then we need to specify the path instead of the file name flu.aiml This line prints a welcome message to the console informing the user that they have entered the flu diagnosis center This line starts an infinite loop which will continue until the user decides to exit the program This line prompts the user to enter input by displaying u and reads the input from the console.strip is used to remove any leading or trailing white space from the input and upper is used to convert the input to upper case this ensures that the input is in upper case making it easier to match aiml patterns this line checks if the user input is equal to exit if the user enters exit the program will print goodbye and exit the loop effectively ending the conversation and the program This line sends the user's input to the AIML kernel for processing. The input is appended with symptoms to match the AIML pattern in the knowledge base. The response generated by the AIML knowledge base is stored in the response variable. This line prints the response generated by the AIML knowledge base prefaced with expert system to indicate that it's the system's response to the user's input. This line checks if the script is being run directly and not imported as a module into another script. If it is the main script being executed, it calls the main function to start the program. That's all for this particular session. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe and comment. Do join us for the next video.